This is going uh, into those uh, things I don't understand videos. Uh, things that happen in life that uh, just don't make any sense. But they've happened, so I, I have a problem. Uh, well, I'm not having a problem with it. But uh, I talked about uh, hiring Marge. Uh, she was a school teacher, putting, and she worked behind my front desk uh, collecting money. And uh, her husband, uh, I think, was an electrician, uh, also an airplane, a private pilot, uh, and a good patient of mine, and a friend of mine. They became good friends. Uh, and we uh, did some things together. But uh, uh, Don and Marge, after they both retired, they went into real estate together. And we went, uh, uh, we were looking at a house possibly in Houston, and he was walking us through the house. And uh, I mean, John, Don would just kind of ramble, just kind of talk, I guess like me. Uh, and uh, we got, we were with a friend of ours who was in real estate in Houston, or in Maui. And... Uh, she, we walked out of one of the houses. She said, he is the most boring man I've ever met. And I said, wow, that's interesting. Uh, he's uh, the top salesman in his office, has been for several months going. And we got talking about it, and uh, he was working with uh, my mentor at the time, Martin. And Martin, one of the things Martin said is that men buy art and cars, women buy houses, as a general rule. Well, I mean, it's, it's, and well, houses particularly as living quarters. Yeah. But... Uh, Don said, he said, you know, I, he said, I just, he said, I'll point out features of the house, you know, if there's a cherry tree in the backyard or stuff, he said, I'll do my research and I'll point those out. He said, but I just kind of talk and ramble, there's no use trying to sell a house to somebody who doesn't want to buy it. He said, he said, uh, since that little bit of data that uh, I know that women buy houses, he said, I wait until the woman kind of settles into the house, kind of, he said, I feel her energetically move into the house. And when I feel that, then I start to sell. And he said, it's never a hard sale. It's just, again, to point out other features and let them know what it would take to own the house. And this is one of those little tidbits. If you're in sales, one of those things, if you, if you know, um, men buy cars and art, women buy houses. Uh, my wife invests in real estate. And uh, if the house is ugly, she doesn't buy it. I mean, it. She looks at it from the outside. It doesn't matter. And if it's cute, that's sometimes a dilemma because... Uh, if she likes the style of it, then it's like, ooh, ooh back off. Got, then you got to be careful, you know, because she really wants it. But uh, Don uh, developed uh, some sort of uh, stomach cancer. I saw him in Houston. I went back to Europe. A friend of ours called me and said, oh, you should call Don. He's not doing well. So I called his house, and uh, in a real gravelly, uh, raily voice, he uh, said, you know, I'm kicking this thing. I'm doing okay. I talked to his wife, and she put him on the phone. And the next day, uh, and I was deeply saddened because I could hear that he was dying. Uh, the next day, his son, Gary, called, and, and he said, you know why I'm calling? I said, yeah, of course I do. I said, your dad's passed away. And he said, do you have time to talk to Mom? And I said, sure I do. And uh, Marge got on the phone, and she said, why did you call yesterday? And I said, well... Angelica called and asked and told me that Don was. She said, but why did you call yesterday? Why did you call at the time you called? And I said, well, again, Angelica told me that he wasn't doing it. She said, but why? And I said, okay, Marge, I, don't, I understand you've got a question, but I don't understand the question now. And she said, Mick, Don's been in a coma. She said, for three weeks, I think it was. She said, he came out of the coma for 15 minutes yesterday. He hasn't been talking to anybody. He's just been laying there in a coma. And it's exactly when you called. And I said, well, I guess I called to talk to Dawn. <laughs> I don't know how the world works. I don't know why it works. But it does in a strange and fun way sometimes. Uh, tribute to Dawn, Paris. www.micpeakperformance.com.